So we all want to improve the conversion rate of our websites. And it's one of the things that I spend most of my life doing really is going through and working out how websites can be improved. Um, and my starting point when it comes to conversion rate optimization is always cognitive load. This idea that users are uh, overwhelmed when they visit your website. They've got so many different things going on in their lives. Um, that they're not giving your website that full attention. And so if the website itself is confusing, they'll miss key calls to action, et cetera, et cetera. So what do I do to reduce people's cognitive load when they um, go to a website? Well, a lot of it boils down to creating a really simple, compelling experience. So then the question becomes, how do we make our website simpler? And what I want to do is I want to give you a, um, a, a very little introduction into the techniques that I use to simplify any website. So I picked a, a random website. I've picked the Odeon, which is my local cinema. And I want to show you how I go about simplifying a site. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a screen capture of this particular site. We're gonna go to the funky new editing tools that are provided. I'm gonna to swap to full screen mode, and then I'm gonna go through. So basically, the approach that, that I use um, is threefold. First of all, I go through, or um, I go through every single element on a website and ask three questions. Question one is, can I remove this item? Right? What would happen? Would it damage the experience if I remove this item? Question two, if I can't remove it, can I hide that item deeper in the site's hierarchy? Right? Or under a tab or something like that. And question three, if I can't do that, can I simplify it? So the Odeon is a good example um, that I can use just to very quickly show you this approach. Now, first of all, um, notice this area here. All right, let's make our pen just a little bit bigger so you can actually see um, what I'm doing. Right, so we've got this area here, okay? Now, in actual fact, this My Odeon bit doesn't do anything. It's simply a label for these, these three elements here. Well, in fact, not even for these three elements, but for the first two, all right? So the first thing we can do immediately if i get rid of what we put in here is we can get rid of that my Odeon. we just don't need it. it doesn't add anything to the design now another really important thing to notice about this particular design is the quickbook right if you think about it quickbook is the most important piece of functionality on the entire Odeon website because you know that's what we want to do we want people to 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 be booking Yet, because it's positioned in this top right-hand corner, amongst all of this kind of my Odeon stuff, it actually is probably going to get overlooked. The colour will help to make it pop out, but that is pretty much a dead position there in that top right-hand corner. And that's because we scan uh, across pages like that, we get so far and then move down, scan across again like that. OK, that's essentially the way that we're looking through pages. So we very rarely get fully to that right hand side. So we probably want to move that for a start, that uh, quick book to somewhere else. But that's not what we're looking at today. We're looking at can we remove, can we hide or can we shrink? In that particular case, we need to give it more prominence. We need to make it larger um, and more obvious to users. Now, if we look at the next menu bar, actually, that isn't particularly helpful because, again, there's a lot on that menu bar that is either meaningless or not particularly helpful for users. So limitless. What's that? Right. What does that even mean? So that could easily go or at least be relabeled. Odeon Lux. Again, what is that? No idea. So it can either be removed or relabeled. And then again, we've got you know, the search, which is one of the most important features of the website over on that right hand side again, as we come down, then the big, the big chunk of the above the fold area, right? All of that is basically dedicated to advertising, right? 
It's not dedicated to what a user wants to do. Instead, it's, it's dedicated to um, promoting different films. Now, I'm not saying that is not important, right? But it's certainly not as important as what appears immediately underneath, which is the ability to actually buy a ticket. But because of this big advertising area above it, it's completely lost. Not only that, it's labelled quick links. It's not a quick link. This is the actual booking mechanism for the website. So again, our question is, can we remove this big block of advertising? Well, the answer is no, obviously. We want to promote our different films. So the next question then is, can we hide it? Absolutely. But we probably don't want to hide it off of the homepage. We don't want to put it deeper in the information architecture. And we probably don't want to put it under a tab. So actually what we want to do is shrink its importance relative to the content immediately under, underneath it, which is actually more important. So we'd probably be moving it down the page or we would be um, uh, displaying it in a less dominant fashion. So let's have a look at this primary piece of content. OK, well, we can get rid of the term quick link because it's not accurate anyway. Right. I want to go to brilliant to see brilliant on brilliant. Right. So so actually this whole chunk is pretty good. It's just not getting enough emphasis. But then we've also got another classic mistake going on here. Right. Which is the go button and the reset button are right next to each other. It would be so easy to accidentally hit that reset button. Right. So in going back to our three options, remove, hide and shrink, I would argue you could actually remove the reset because how often does it get used? How important is it? Right. So we've removed some more items. Let's keep going down. And uh, you could do the, the news. Right. We've got news here. Who goes to a cinema site to read the news? We once did um, a, a survey looking at analytics from a whole number of university websites. We found that only something like 0.6% of people ever clicked on news. So my, my feeling is probably that could be removed. If there are um, business reasons for it being there, it could certainly be shrunk um, or hidden elsewhere on the site. Right. Then we've got. Sign up to my Odium for a chance to uh, win free Limitless. Well, we're not entirely sure what Limitless means anyway. But notice how, again, we've got complete equal weighting between the sign up and the terms and conditions. Are we honestly saying terms and conditions are as important as sign up? I don't think we are. So sure, you have to have terms and conditions there. I accept that, but it could be shrunk, right? Also, this, conferencing and events. Are we saying that this is as important as getting people to sign up for this, this uh, Myodian limitless thing? Probably not. So again, we've got a different ranking. Now, I won't keep going through the whole page because you get the idea. But you can see how it's very simple to start improving the effectiveness of a page simply by asking those three questions. Can I remove this element to simplify the experience? If I can do that, can I hide it, right? Can I put it out deeper in the information architecture under tab? Or can I change the weighting of the page? Can I um, shrink less important items and increase the, um, the prominence of more important items? So there you go. That's, that's what I wanted to share with you. I hope that proved useful.